Welcome to Bunya Toy Town. G'day mates, welcome to part 2 of the June 2022 issue of the Bluey magazine. This issue is all about games. Yay! Before we check it out, remember to please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell button. Come on, let's get playing. Next page, ooh, library. Wanna play library? Feel free to choose some books. Just remember to shh. Can you point to all these things in the library? Tick when you find them. First up, we gotta find a sign to say no talking loud. Oh, where could that be? Oh, there it is, next to Muffin. Oh, that makes sense. You better pipe down, Muffy. Next, we gotta find the book doodle, where you scan your books. Doot. Oh, there it is, the box with a piece of paper on top. Next is toddler time. Oh, where's Polly Puppy? Oh, found you, mate. Give it a big tick. What about the camera? Remember to smile. Oh, that looks like a tennis ball. What about the book mouth thing where you return your books? Yeah, it's next to the duta. And don't forget the computer. Give that a tick tick tickaroo. Can you spot five copies of this book in the library? Circle them. Oh yeah, I've seen these lying around the library. Where are they? There's one on the side table next to the pineapple. There's number two on the chair near toddler time. There's another by the bean bag. There's number four, looks like someone returned one. And number five, under the table. And look, it's next to a long dog. Take two secs to fill in a library card for your library customer. Snip it out and give it to them. This card is for Bunya Toy Town. And I am 88 years old. Oh, what? Don't forget to draw your customer here on the library card. Oi mates, find books for these customers by following the lines. We'll start with Coco. Hey Coco, what did you find? Oh, what is that? Oh, that looks like the hungry little caterpillar. Judo's turn. What did you find? Oh, your one is about an alien on the moon. Honey, come on down. It's your turn. What you find? Oh, you're reading Finding Nemo. Oi, Cottontail, sketch the cover of your book you'd read to the toddlers. I would read a story about a horse that wanted to race. Unfortunately, the horse was a rocking horse. It couldn't go anywhere. All it can do is go back and forth. I would call the book the horse that couldn't race but could fly in your dreams. Yeah, nah, I think the title needs more work, eh? Next page, Muffin Cone. Who says cones can't be cool? Doodle and stick to jazz up Muffin's cone skirt. Oh, sick! This is a sticker page. Let's get decorating. Now give the garden a splash of colour too. Oh, that's looking lovely. You're pretty as a posy. I can't wait till you pop out and turn into a sunflower. That will really brighten up the garden. Now that's one sick looking muffin cone. Next page. Silly story. Bluey's reading her fave funny book. Create your own silly story by snipping out all the words and arranging them on the page below. However you like. Have a look at all the words we can use to make our story silly. You can also think of your own favourite silly words and write them here. What silly words can I think of? It's time to jot it down. Next, snip out the words, then it's time to create your very own silly story. Alright, let's give this a crack. Maybe it can make you crack up. Once upon a time, a gnome went to a school. It was very beautiful and said, Achoo! Everybody was so silly. The next day, the potteroo was feeling a bit farty. So it decided to go to the playground. For real life, it said. Oh mate, what a story. Did that make you crack up? Let's try it again. 
this time I'm going to use some of the words I wrote. Once upon a time, a grub went to a unicorn. It was very hungry and said, Grannies! Everybody was so cheeky. The next day, the potato was feeling a bit fair dinkum. So he decided to go to the footy. Flog ya, it said. <laughs> the end. What do you reckon about that story? This is so fun. You can make your own silly stories at home. Why don't you give it a try? Asparagus. The magic asparagus turns people into any animal you want. For real life. How to play? Ask a grown-up to cut out the magic asparagus. Grab a mate, take it in turns to wave the magic asparagus and turn the other player into one of the animals below. You could choose which animal they have to be by closing your eyes and pointing to the page with your asparagus. Tick as you do each one. Top tip! Choose another veggie and make up a new game. Crazy carrot anyone? Why not play quiet cucumber? Next page. Make your own granny game. Quick, there's a bean sale on. Who will get there first, Rita or Janet? Before you play, stick your granny instruction stickers on the red number spaces in any order you like. Pop some gnomes around too. Next, stick your Rita and Janet stickers to cardboard so they stand up and place them at the start. Cutting a ring from the dunny roll works well. Now grab a dice and take turns to roll and speed around the garden. Be prepared to crash a few times. The first one to the beans wins. Rita's first, she rolled a two. Oh sick, turbo boost, throw again. Yeah, Rita has another go. Come on, what are you gonna get? Oh six, what a oh, good roll. Oh, that's a good lead. Okay, Janet, it's your turn. Come on, let's get that turbo boost. Oh six, oh what a roll. Oh wait a minute, crash, you miss a go. Oh nice parking there, Janet. Okay, it's Rita's turn. You get two goes. Okay, we need a big roll. We need a good roll. Oh, three. One, two, three. Okay, another go. Come on, come on. Oh, one. What? Nice parking there, Rita. You crashed it, mate. You miss a go. Okay, Bluey. Oh, I mean, uh, Janet. Your turn. Oh, what are we going to get? Oh, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, right behind Rita. Coming up close. Next go. Six. Oh, smashed it, mate. How many horses you got under that engine? Alright, Rita, time to let loose, kick it in fifth gear. Oh, yeah, you reached it, mate. Dead set legend, caught up to Janet. Come on, Janet, your turn, come on, we just need a one. Oh, two, we could have got a turbo boost. Alright, Rita, your turn, are you gonna smash it out of the park? Don't do any doughies, mate. Oh, three, oh, come on, you're just in the lead. Oh, it's a tight race, who's gonna win? We're on the home stretch. Alright, Janet, your turn, come on, mate. Oh, yeah, five, what a good roll. Oh, nearly there, you just need one more. Alright Rita, come on, you can win this, you just need a 5 or 6, come on, flip that switch mate, press the NOS button, oh 2, oh mate, your engine blew up mate, it's over, Janice got this, it's over, she just needs to roll the dice, oh typical, 1, oh yeah, you got the beans mate, it's all yours. What a game, it was so close, there was nothing in it, Janet took home the bacon and the beans. Next page, make your own dominoes. Grab a grown-up, take two secs to snip out the cards along the dash lines only, then play. Top tip, stick your dominoes to thick cardboard to make them extra strong and last forever. Well, almost. to play. Shuffle the dominoes and share it evenly with a grown-up or a friend. The first player puts any domino down on a table. The second player needs to try and put a domino next to it that matches one side of the other player's domino. You can also do it this way if you've got double images. Now the next player has to either get a feather or a leaf bug. Oh what do you have here? Oh we got a feather, let's match that. Oh yeah. Now the next player has to either match a xylophone, a leaf bug, or a feather. Oh yeah, you got a xylophone, put that xylophone down. Oh, matched it. Okay, player two's turn, what do you got? You can either get a hand, or a leaf bug, oh, two leaf bugs, nice move. Okay, player one, what do you have? Let's have a look. You got a hand, is that a fairy hand? Oh yeah, that's it. But now, player two either has to match a leaf bug, and a leaf bug and a feather. 
What do you have, player two? Oh, I think you got a leaf bug. Oh, yeah. No, wait, you got the feather. Oh, good match. But, oh, wait. <laughs> you could have. You'll be stuck with three leaf bugs. Okay, we'll just put a leaf bug over here. And so you can match a feather over there. Okay, player one's turn. What can you put down? Not much. Got a lot of uh, undies. Oh, maybe we can do that, eh? Maybe. A xylophone. Okay, what's next? Okay, we got a xylophone matching a xylophone. Now, can we put down the asparagus? Or the chicken rat egg? Or the purple undies? Oh, I don't see any matches here. All right, we put two hands. Okay, what about you, player two? What do you got? Not much. Oh, I don't know if you can match anything. Oh, mate. What's happening? Well, it looks like player one is the winner. She's got the least amount of dominoes. Thank you for watching part two of the June 2022 issue of the Bluey magazine. Don't forget to check out part one. If you want to watch more videos on the Bluey magazine, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell button and we'll see you next time. For mum, big Josh, click the subscribe.